Uh, my name is Joey Rubio. I'm the owner of CQB City Law Enforcement Training Center and Airsoft Arena. I'm Don Aguilar. I'm lead referee. I'm Sergeant Robert Horton, United States Army Special Operation. And we get involved with the games, we run the games, we do a lot of Milsim stuff. So CQB City, CQB stands for Close Quarter Battle. Uh, we designed the place as a law enforcement training center. It's basically a recreated city environment for the police departments, the military, the government agencies to come in and do their close quarter battle training. A good friend of mine, Chief Joey Rubio, who is a former Black Hawk helicopter pilot, uh, opened this, uh, this facility up uh, 10 years ago after you know uh, federal and state fundings were cut and uh, military and local law enforcement agencies didn't have a the funding to provide the proper training, you know, Joey picked up the gauntlet where, where uh, everybody else failed us and uh, opened this facility up. And since then, it's been the premier training facility here uh, in the San Joaquin Valley, if not if not the state. Yeah, Rogers, California, the state of California, to provide that sort of training and environment for us to train in. So he's gone above and beyond his duty uh, in the call for something like this, and he's provided us with the best best possible place to do it and that's all indoor. Uh, talking to a couple of my uh, law enforcement buddies and one of them mentioned that their training got canceled uh, due to lack of facility and improper insurance and somebody said it sure would be nice to have a permanent training facility and that's where we took it from there. Um, we, we are a police and military training facility first. We offer training to SWAT teams, your local police departments here. We service SWAT team, we also service the Explorers, the CHP and the Sentinels. It's nice to have an all indoor facility to come and train at, to get out of the rain once in a while, to conduct operations and dial everything in and get everything uh, squared away nice and tight uh, before you go back out in the rain and start to perform operations there again. The way the combat is now and the way the police is now, it's a lot of urban warfare. This is an urban warfare training facility. That's what we specialize in. This is one of the best facilities in the world as far as uh, serving serving the public sector or or even our local law enforcement agencies because and the airsoft community. Like, right. like myself, Donnie's a former ranger with the 75th, so we're, we represent the Special Forces community at large, and we're down here with Chief uh, to try and provide the best possible leadership and, and support and training down here that we can. On the weekends, we're open to the general public, get the kids off the street with their airsoft rifles, bring them in here, we run games for them all weekend long, uh, simulations with smoke, explosives, sound effects, that kind of thing. Where oh, Stockton yeah. needed a place, they needed something also That's for right. these kids to do, and we offer that to you. DQB City, not only does it provide you know the greatest training experience you could possibly get your hands on, and not in just the nation, but here in California especially, it's the greatest place in the world to drop your kids off at. <laughs> all my friends who are former military and law enforcement guys are current uh, currently serving and on the weekends you know they bring their kids down here to train as well they drop them off because they know they're safe they're protected they're they're overwatched or being watched over by former military professionals and law enforcement uh, agency professionals that are here that uh, help run this facility airsoft is a nice guy it's like playing call of duty in real life um, we also host tournaments airsoft are electric guns with plastic bb's um, it hurts, <laughs> but it's okay, it's fun. It's just not for men, it's for everybody, it's for women. We allow from eight years on, on up, full face masks for the children, but it's an awesome thing, it's an awesome experience. It was the first indoor airsoft arena that was ever uh, put together. Uh, there's probably a couple hundred of them now, you know, copied right off of what we did, so that's a great form of flattery. Uh, we got a lot of government agencies that come out and use the place, so it's getting uh, good use and uh, absolutely doing something for the community other than just being a privately owned business.